Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on in, like the video, subscribe, and in the comments, all I want to see is Jim Stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. You already know what the thing. You know the vibes, man. All positive vibes, just like brutal sim on the scene, wicked than me. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily content. We bringing the 2K heat every day of the week, man. Look, you need to come in, subscribe to the channel so you can stay informed on stuff that I'm talking about this morning, like my boy Mike Wong. See, if you didn't even know, you probably didn't even know that Mike Wong was back tweeting. You probably didn't even know that was how you say his name for real. It is Mike Wong. The 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 a the ang sound don't even exist in Chinese. Uh, assuming that's what it is. I mean, hey, it could be something like that. It could be Mandarin or, or, or other language. Whatever the language is, the Aang sound does not exist. So there's no way it could be anything other than Mike Wong. You really don't even pronounce the G either. It's more like Wong. But anyway, I, I got I got my I got my uh, Chinese teacher that, that that was that that was with me on that. One. But well, whatever, it don't matter because he's been tweeting again. And check it out. See you. Where, where else you gonna get a cornucopia of greatness? Other than a place like this, you you got a you got a Chinese lesson, you got news and info, and you got the dopest shirts in the community. You got the biggest arms in the community, Tyrone Big Arms. Man, hey, I gotta make the time. If y'all wanna see that Tyrone Big Arms shirt, man, well I'm, I'm gonna take Tyrone Bigums and do it. Hey, y'all, let me know. Anyway, Mike Wong been tweeting again, man. Somebody deleted that tweet because I guess they felt stupid, and um, you know, well actually, can we go over here? I don't want to show the Twitter because. Sometimes when you show people's Twitters, they might have Tiana Trump or something like that on it. But we all know we all follow Tiana Trump. So we're not gonna worry about it. But that, that shirt, that shirt funny as I don't know what. Tiana is the only Trump that I miss. That joke is hilarious. Anyway, look here. Her. Huh? You don't? No. Well, you wouldn't. Anyway, uh, so check this out. Mike Wong says, shooting has not been touched in over a month. The lie to take the test determined. That was a lie. Now, when they say that shooting hasn't been touched, man, I don't think they understand what we're saying. I think that they don't realize that we're saying that, we're not saying that you went into the system and actively touched shooting. What we're saying is something that you did indeed impacted shooting. You know what I'm saying? So he said, okay, cool, maybe it's just me. And then he says, you let shooters be overpowered every year but always let the let the slashers be trash. Slashers can't even can't even make layups. It's crazy how every year y'all y'all do us dirty. But bro, if you're slashing, you can't make a layup, bro. Something there's something wrong with you, man. Um, and then another guy says, "Yeah, I feel your pain. Shot contest might need a tweak for online. I think the only solution is to add a defensive three seconds for the paint uh for the paint camping bigs and." And add a layup, uh, a layup or a meter for all these, bro. Our situational animations that that all different timing, bro. We got a layup meter. If you turn your shot meter off, then you you shooting at your own risk. It is what it is. I get it though. One thing I can't agree with. Do y'all think they should have defensive three seconds in the park, bro? If they had defensive three seconds in the park, then what we gonna do? We don't shoot free throws in the park. So what are they gonna do? You gonna shoot a three free throw and get the ball back? Or are they just gonna give you 14 seconds back? We know bigs camp in the paint. 99% of the bigs that play this game have absolutely no clue what they're doing. That's why the bigs that are good completely crush the bigs that don't know what they're doing because most bad players play big. I'm not saying that big, all bigs are bad. I'm saying that most players that aren't good at the game they elect to play big because they're 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 what's expected of them is less. So that's where that's where like if you if you say okay the better players, most of the players that think they're good are going to play guard and they're probably gonna be garbage. Ninety percent of them trash too. But most of the players that know that they're not that good, they play big hoping that they can hide. And then when and, and most of the time they are able to hide, but then when they play somebody that's good at big, then they get completely crushed. They play somebody that's decent at big, they get crushed. They play somebody that's good at, at big, then they get they get destroyed. I haven't seen really any issues with making layups unless the big doesn't jump. If you are a big and you're sitting there and you're just holding your hands up, you're not stepping to the point and you're not actively trying to stop the guy from making the layup. Why should he miss? Why should why should he miss the layup? 
But this guy saying he's got a slasher and he can't even make layups. That sounds like a you problem to me. Anyway, like he said, back to the subject. Shoot, you shouldn't be able to just dunk on people willy-nilly and arbitrarily anyway. Just like shooters can't just shoot in people's faces. You hit one or two, but this shouldn't be the crux of your game. You should have to think sometimes. You can't just go in there and not think at all. Just brain dead, hit square, just dunk on people. Just like nobody should be able to do that in this game. That was 2K19. We left that back there. But anyway, like I said, Mike Wong, they always do things that change shooting. They may touch a slider here. They may touch game speed there. They never say any of that other stuff. They don't tell you what's in that daily update. They do tweak things and tune things daily in the update. Somebody actually made a very excellent point down in the comments the other day. They said, obviously, they keep messing with jump shots, jump shot consistency, and jump shot timing. I can find my timing from day to day because I am a human. But if I have a controller that is programmed to shoot the ball the same way every time, it's going to be off because they will make it be milliseconds off. Shout out to my new scuff controller, man, that I got, man, this thing, bah! But anyway, um, but if they change it from day to day, then you're gonna have to change your Cronus Max to max, match up every day. That's what people are gonna have to do. But they change, that's what somebody said. She said, like, even though they don't admit it, they definitely change things every day, change the timing every day. Or, or, you know, every so often so people can't use the modded controllers and they can't be viable for a very long period of time. And I, I completely agree with that. Maybe that's the reason that they do it. But we know, we've know we known since 2K18, since we had 2K Labs in 2K18, that they've been changing these sites nearly on a daily basis. We know it happens. I got a 2K uh, Lab uh, membership. You see it happen. Different jump shots become viable over time. Different jump shots become viable every week. Every week I bring those to y'all so we know that things happen. So when they can they can say that they aren't doing it, they, they should say that they aren't actively doing it. I believe that they aren't actively doing it, but it is happening. We see it. We see the fallout. One day I can shoot in people's faces. Next day I can't shoot in people's faces. One day I can hit every jump shot. The next day I can't. Now, it could be my role on the team. Last night I was playing lead guard. I couldn't hit a shot to save my soul because my guy is not a lead guard. My guy is a catch and shoot player. My guy is a one, one dribble dunk player. My guy is a one dribble step back pool player. I'm not an off the screen player, so... I couldn't tell last night because I was I was in a position where I had to play the point. I hated that, but you know it is what it is. But just because they say that they didn't touch shooting doesn't mean that they didn't do something that impacted shooting. That's all I ever want to say, man. Like like they they're very clever with how they say things. They're very clever with how they phrase things. There's not been any any changes to that. But it's something in the game might have done it anyway, man. We're going to get on to the next thing. Hey, check it out. Uh, one guy says, hey, Mike, please reply. Does, does close shot matter? What exactly does it affect? Do I need to put it on my big man? And uh, Mike, well, I'm going to tell you the answer to this right off the bat. Yes. And I'll tell you all about close shot. Uh, he said, I would raise it as a big. If you're taking if you're taking shots outside the charge circle, it's using the close shot rating. Okay. And then like somebody else says, hey, Mike, you know, uh, mind telling us what ratings blah 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 I don't think my guy you're not one of the burner accounts that Mike responds to because you know he responded to this a whole day later you ain't one of the burner accounts bro you're probably not going to get a reply I'm just going to uh I'm just gonna tell you that right now but so what shot close does shot close is your standing layup and it's your shot close. It's your close shot. It's, it's it probably, if you drew a three point line, okay, so if you took the charge circle from the top of the charge circle and actually drew a three point line, it goes from it goes from the top of the short, the charge circle to the short corner. And you can hit those shots. It goes, um, the short corner is probably about five feet off the block. So if you got the shot close up, you can hit shots about five feet off the block. After that, it's gonna be tough. You're probably not gonna hit anything, but the thing that shot close really does is is that is that shot five feet off the block, and it's also your standing layup. If you if you can't make layups and you got a big man and your shot close is down or you got a player and you elected to not put the shot close up, that's why you're gonna be missing layups over and over. Now you can make them without it, but I'm I'm just letting you know that your shot close does translate to your standing layup. That's why I can. That's why a lot of people they have their shot close up but they don't have a high driving layup. So they come in, hop step, pump fake, and then they got a lay. 
That's why they are making those layups that are very highly contested and all that because they may have that shot close up high. Some people may not have that shot close up high. That's probably why you get why you're pump you are you you doing that pump faking and then you go up and then you get it swatted out by somebody with chase down artists like myself that's just what's going to happen but your shot close is your standing layup and it's the shots that are about five feet off the block so if you got a big and your shot close is a 70 or 80 you can you should go right now put the shot meter on your feet because when you put the shot meter on your feet the smile the bigger the smile is you can tell where you know where you can actually shoot from so if you do that you can tell that you can hit shots about five feet off the block. I wish I had my game queued up right now and I would show you guys, but I I, I just don't uh, have that done. And, uh, you know, it is what it is, but that's what your shot close does. Last but not least, man, today, um, yo, I'm not going to lie to y'all, man. We got patch eight coming in. It should not have taken eight patches to get this game to a playable way. We still got demigods running rampant. We still got glitches. We still got people that can't join people in the park. At least we're not getting blue screens out the wazoo. But what we need to do, do y'all see what, what WWE 2K was able to do? They are outright giving out refunds for that game. Sony is like that game launched in such an abysmal way that they have to give out those refunds. Now, y'all get on me for talking about things and compl complaining about the game when we just want a better product. But those guys talked about things that were wrong, complained about it, and said we're not going to take it. And guess what? They're getting their refunds and they're gonna they're gonna dang near force them to to retool that game and give them a and give them a game that is actually workable or what have you. Now, like I said, it's pretty bad over there. We can't even play that game. That game is almost unplayable. If you play WWE 2K, let me know down in the comments how bad that is. They got it bad. We got it bad. We all Usher Raymond right now, man. You got it. You got it bad. We got it bad. But that doesn't matter because we cannot continue to allow these game companies to release these games. And like, like look, I got, a, I got an excuse to play it. I'm going to play the game because I do genuinely enjoy the game when I can play it. And I do YouTube videos, so I'm going to. You guys probably don't even play it. Like I say, I think a lot of you guys are just waiting for me to give you all the all clear that the Jimmy Goss are going and all that, and then y'all going to play it again. But what I'm saying is if we stand together, band together, mobilize on Twitter, mobilize on Reddit, and do all this stuff that the guys from WWE 2K did, I mean, 2K20 did, we can either get the game free, we can get Sony to give our games back. I, I promise you, if we had all mobilized and stopped trying to find the workarounds like we did when nobody was could get in the game and everybody was blue screening, if we hadn't been satisfied and we had we had gone ahead and mobilized, I bet Sony would have put the pressure on them and said, until you get this game in a working condition, we're we're not going to hold these people accountable for these chargebacks and stuff. We're gonna give them these refunds. We're gonna give them their money back. I guarantee they would have done it. But in our community, we all want to say, well, you know, we're just going to deal with it. We're going to figure it out. And that's fine because we genuinely love basketball. I understand that. But at the same time, sometimes we just got to stand up. Even if you're going to continue to play the game, just grind your VC, do whatever you're going to do. But when they put out polls or when people say, look, we need to band together with the Fix 2K hashtag, we all got to get in on that. We all have to get in on it and put their feet to the fire and hold their feet to the fire and tell them that the, the, game, the way that they release this game is unacceptable. We're not going to take it anymore and we're not going to support an inferior product anymore. We got to do that. Like I said, my job is to make YouTube videos. I'm going to play the game regardless. But if you don't have a reason to play it, I mean, I got a reason to play it. And like I said, I genuinely like this one. But all that stuff around it and I talk about the flaws in the game and I'm trying to bring the the attention to it i just ain't big enough it is what it is but look y'all understand what i'm trying to say man even if even if we play the game and keep playing the game we still gotta be vocal the people that are playing wwe 2k they are playing the game they are still in the game they're still enjoying the game they're still doing that but they still were very vocal so you can enjoy the game but simultaneously be very vocal about the flaws in the game and you can have your cake and eat it too i don't like the way that you guys release this game, I want my money back or you guys are going to have to do something. It's just like those guys that was trying to have a class action lawsuit against 2K. Hey, you can do it. We just need to do what we need to do but stick together as a community and do it. We can't have any of that split C, half C's. Hey, if you don't like the game, don't play it. I like the game. I just don't like the glitches. 
I like the game. I don't like the demigods. You got you increase you and you you let a game in where people can actively cheat. We gotta take this to them and take this to the to wherever we gotta take it to. But I'll take the Twitter and just keep bothering Mike until he mute everybody. He can't mute all us anyway. Y'all understand what I'm saying, man? The game. A lot of people aren't playing it. I'm enjoying it. IQ still reigns supreme. I love the game. This is this this has the potential to be one of the best 2Ks ever. But the launch just has made it one of the worst ones and uh you know it is what it is man but anyway i gotta get up out of here man hope you guys enjoyed the video y'all let me know what y'all think um do y'all do y'all agree with how wwe 2k people did it? they're still playing the game but they're saying that this launch was so bad that we, some of them are getting their money back and sony is doing it is that what we should have done because i'm not gonna lie to you i would have got my money back and still been playing the game i'm i ain't i ain't ish I'm going to let you know. I would have been like, I need my money back. And I still would have been playing the game and still would have been putting up videos. Because that's... Look, when somebody gives you something that doesn't work, what, what you going to do? What what else can we do? You can't... It is what it is, man. Y'all get what I'm saying. Anyway, if you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. Bringing the 2K heat every day of the week. Give me a gem star down in the comments if you made it this far. And I'm going to y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop. BK, the People's Champ. God speak!